dear Christ types. This is our second pandemic Christmas. We thought this would be over in some time. Still we wear masks, we are physically distant, we can't be with friends and family as we used to. There is so much that's broken in this world, so much that asks us, why should we have hope? I'm sure that is what the three wise men asked and set out to find long ago, guided by the star, leading them to the distant manger at Bethlehem to witness the nativity scene of the blessed child and his tired mother and the protecting father surrounded by surprised shepherds and little lambs. Today, like the Magi who went on a perilous journey and faced the miracle of hope, we too have traveled through the pandemic times to emerge fortified with the hope that's stronger than ever. As fellow travelers through these distressing times, our greatest learning is that we are interdependent, that compassion is a sole compass to guide us in this journey of life, and that we are all eternally grateful for having each other in our lives. Our relationships have become priceless. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate Christmas and a new year of promise and growth, let us not allow our minds to enter negativity and bloom. Let us change and become a better version of ourselves. Let us live a life of care for others, society and future generations. We are coming back to a full campus from 3rd January 2022 onwards. There shall be no hybrid classes as has been announced, only face-to-face -face classroom learning and campus activities. We will think of making changes only if the government issues directives otherwise. Dear Christites, the time between now and the reopening in January is crucial for your mental preparation to adjust and comply to a new normal, new social life, and a new world within the campus. I want you to enjoy every minute you are here doing the most protective tasks that will take you one step closer to your goal of being at Christ University. Remember, you are in a university known for is discipline and academic rigor, and that's why you chose to be here. So, following the decorum of a formal space and being mindful always of right conduct with the teachers, officers, teams, and peers is your responsibility. Demonstrate your brilliance and make a mark in your academic and social life with your behavior and personal and professional ethics, not by being anti-establishment. We have extended the semester till middle of May for you to get used to the multicultural, multi-ethnic and vibrant campus life and be engaged participants in this campus world. Our campus life is one of zest and color. And you, my dear Christites, have always made this a harmonious space for your whole person development. All your favorite pests are planned for the coming semester, dance day, ethnic day, and all your planned conferences and seminars and sports events. So, come back with renewed energy and vigor to actively participate and contribute to your campus memories. We have all had different experiences of learning and evaluation online. Please understand that your on-campus experience will be different from the online one. Some of us may have developed an aversion for crowds and social anxiety 
in meeting new people and making conversations. Let us shed some of our inhibitions that will deter us from becoming successful individuals. Our education is not complete if we are not competent in our domain and have well-developed personal, interpersonal and social skills along with a drive to be a lifelong learner. Make maximum use of the opportunities and platforms that are open to you to develop holistically and network purposefully. We all know that there is a coronavirus that is spreading havoc in this world. All of us and the world nations are together battling this virus. Once we vaccinate the population, we can be sure that the virus will not be so dangerous. However, there is another equally fearsome virus attack in society. And the only cure for this virus is each one of us and our collective reason got from our learning. Therefore, we have a huge responsibility towards the society at large in being Citizens College at Christ University campus. To quote the famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, Ignorance is a virus. Once it starts spreading, it can only be cured by reason. For the sake of humanity, we must be that cure. In this age of information, ignorance is a choice. And surely, as 21st century learners at Christ University, we are not choosing it. We have a purpose in being back on campus to cure ignorance of all kinds. Dear Christies, I personally and the management, faculty and staff of Christ University is looking forward to welcoming all of you back. May your Christmas be blessed and his message of joy and hope transform our lives. May our new year help us fulfill our destiny and all our wishes. Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. 2022. Thank you. I remain.